This is MGX, man, the Mendel Gamers. Um, a friend did a video very similar. He kind of not really stole my idea. It's not an idea to steal, if you know what I mean. It's uh, just some. It was a, like an opinion about steam machines, and are they really worth it? Um, Alienware decided that they were going to start producing them but you're not going to be able to upgrade them <laughs> now the thing is you've got the next generation of consoles as in the Xbox One now it's been sort of like eight to nine years since the Xbox 360, so it was kind of time for an update. Uh, graphics, memory and whatever. They all need updating over time to keep games looking as great as they can. Uh, everybody knows, that every PC enthusiast would know that you need to upgrade certain aspects of the uh, of your system whether it be the RAM or you know, the memory um, or import, more importantly uh, graphics uh, these days if you look on Steam itself uh, you look at the specifications required for certain games a lot of games are starting to need more graphic memory not so much graphic power in the sense of the actual gpu but more memory i mean years ago when <laughs> we're talking well, back when the original serious sam was around um it didn't need a lot you could run it on like a geforce 2 64 megabyte card you know that's kind of how long ago that was these days now you've got these high-end nvidia's and uh, radeon cards uh which i think what they go up to is it three or even four gigabyte now that's gonna that's a long way away when you know games will be needing that kind of graphical uh, graphic memory uh but most are starting to make a bit more use of graphic power and you know you're talking at least a 512 megabyte or a half a gig of memory just for the graphics um a lot of kind of laptops and stuff uh they tend to such as the laptop that I use, it's got dedicated memory, but it's only 256 megabytes. Now that's, you know, that's quite generous, um, and it, you know, it able to run quite a few games. I mean, Left for Dead 2 and uh, Batman. Ar which one was it? Batman Arkham Asylum. Okay, low settings, but you know, still playable. Um. I mean, okay, they may not be the best examples, but still, I can still play new games, uh, latest ones, such as uh, like indie games especially, um, even though they're becoming even more powerful. Yeah, you know, um, but this is the thing, even indie games are becoming uh, well, not, not more powerful, but we'll be needing uh, more power, basically, uh, in years to come. Um, what kind of shelf life are we talking about with Steam machines? Because when you basically think about it, what they are, are pre-built PCs. Uh, Basically, with the, the Steam OS uh, installed into, well, in it, on it, whatever. And so, this is a machine that's going to last for how long? You know, is it going to be 
something that's going to like just a five year lifespan is it going to be an average uh, console lifespan of eight years or so um, and it seems a bit unfair that you can't upgrade any of the components uh, it, <laughs> it, it seems really that you would be better building your own I mean, okay, yeah, a lot of people have said it before. A lot of people will still say it. If you're going to build a dedicated gaming machine, build your own. Get the components yourself. You can go to many websites which will help um, pick the components for you, you know, so that they're compatible and you're not going to come across any bottlenecks or anything like that. So, you know. But websites are out there to help you and uh, to, to build your own. Um, it, I mean, it, it's like I, I mentioned before the Xbox One, which, when you look at the specifications for that compared to the Xbox 360, it is a full generation ahead. The same with the, the PlayStation 4. That is, you know, way ahead of uh, the, what the PlayStation 3 uh, is capable of. I mean, obviously, it's early days for those consoles. And so what we're seeing at the moment, obviously, is just what the developers have managed to uh, get out within, you know, a certain time limit. And as everybody knows, with consoles, they're built not to be upgraded. Um, maybe you could uh, change, you know, swap the hard drive for a bigger one, which people have done with the PlayStation 3. I mean, you, a, lot, a lot of those. And uh, uh, before the, the, the super slim version, I mean, you had the slim version, which only went up to 320 gigabytes. Then people thought, well, you know, Especially if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you're going to get like two games every month, plus Vita games, which I guess you could either download direct to the Vita or to the PlayStation 3 and then transfer it that way, which means you need a lot of hard drive space. And so it was so that you could up, you know, update it with, I mean, not, not up to a terabyte or something, you know. Um, and have a lot more space. The thing with uh, the steam machines, I mean, that, that's going to be one of the factors, I think, really, of uh, upgradability. Um, for one, memory. Now, 8 gigabytes, which is what the consoles have, is what some of the uh, steam machines have. Um, that's another thing that, you know, maybe in a few years you may want to double that and have 16 gigabytes, you know. Uh, but if you buy an Alienware one, a steam machine, uh, apparently you're not going to be able to upgrade anything. Memory, graphics card, basically any, well, those are the main two components, any component is non-upgradable. Uh, this is why, when you look at the price of these steam machines, um, I mean, a, <laughs> a mid-level machine is going to cost, what, 800 to 1,000 dollars, which is kind of around, you know, say, five to 600 pound. Uh, that's a lot of money, really, to invest in something that you're not going to be able to upgrade in the future. And as I say, my opinion is that if you're one of these where, you, you know, you don't have the time to put one together yourself, you don't know how you, you just want, uh, a, like, a gaming PC console uh, just to play your Steam games on, then I suppose, you know, okay, that's for you. But I would recommend uh, building your own. Mainly, now, here's the thing. Like some people have said as well, the Steam operating system won't play all of your games. 
when you think about it, the Steam OS is based on Linux, or Lin Linux, however you want to pronounce it, which means a lot of <laughs> the a, a, a lot of games in your library were you, you won't be able to play them uh, because uh, there are still some games that are PC only. Now, unless something changes in the Steam OS, then you're gonna, you know, at least half of your library is gonna be unplayable. So that's another concern when you think about it. You know, do you want a machine that's not gonna be able to play all of your games? One friend I know, um, he, he basically buys an old load of games on Steam. I mean, and some pretty obscure ones at that. But anyway. You know, he buys an old load of games, and he's got a PC that's capable of running pretty much any latest game and whatever. But that's because it's a Windows PC. Steam OS is not going to be able to run all the games. So, uh, and Valve are basically saying, well, that's up to the developer to incorporate <laughs> the Steam OS compatibility with their games but should they you know should the developers do that should it be up to them to incorporate the compatibility into their games for the steam os it seems a bit unfair really considering how long they've took to develop that game how long it took them to get that game on steam and now they've got to change it all again because valve basically say well if you want the game to run on steam os you need to change it yeah, so anyway, those are my thoughts, you know, uh, as I say, my thoughts are that it's a bit unfair on the developer, it's a bit unfair on the consumer, that uh, Alienware are just one example, there may be others, I don't know, uh, they're the ones that have basically been highlighted at the moment, so, uh, so what do you think, um, are Steam machines really worth the, the money to bring your Steam games into the living room. Uh, let me know. Um, I will be putting this on the Mental Games website. I mean, if you want to comment in the comments on the website, or if you just want to comment in the YouTube comments, you know, say something if you want. Uh, your thoughts about the Steam machines, and uh, hopefully, if I get enough feedback on this I'll be doing more videos well, well I'll say more videos more kind of opinion pieces like this uh, if I feel the need to um, but thanks for listening and uh, I'll see you next time